Hello everyone, welcome to Tech Along Tuesday. Um, I'm going to do uh, the cover of a recipe book that I'm going to make. It's a, um, a recipe book for uh, someone who likes to bake. Because I found these um, uh, Argeny stamps celebrate. I will show you the stamp sheet later in this video. Um, and uh, I thought, oh, the cupcake I, can't, I can use uh, on that cover. So, um, showing you uh, how I start this uh, cover and finish it, of course. So, uh, putting gesso through a stencil, I'm going to make a, an entire sheet and then cut it up in inches. Um, so, uh, I've done that before on a, on a nice uh, harmonica book, but I thought I, this would fit the front of my uh, book cover just as well. So, um, starting to, as I said, put gesso through a stencil on this uh, paper. It's quite a, a thick and it's a, a mixed media. Well, it's a stamping paper, but it holds um, water and all kinds of mediums quite well. So, using uh, this uh, circle stamp as well. This is a stamp sheet that I was talking about. That's what I'm going to use, uh, some of the stamps on that are on that uh, sheet. Now, um, this is, I think, spun sugar, and I think it's too, way too light. Um, it doesn't work on the with the distress tool, so I'm just going over my paper with the whole um, uh, this ink pad. Um, I use several colors um, on this sheet, as you can see, and then I go in with... Um, the first stamp in this yellowish color from Archival and then I go in with um, Versafine stamps in uh, a reddish color and a blue one. This already looks festive, doesn't it? And then this little swirl stamp, that's from another stamp collection but I can't remember which one it is. And then I am stamping this cupcake with a Versamark and uh, I am um, using the black um, embossing powder from Ranger. I really love that because it's very fine and it, it, you know, it melts quite good. So I stamp all the cupcakes on this um, page, as you can see. Why did oh I did cut it <laughs> so um, just going over it with the uh, embossing and then I'm going to uh, choose one uh, cupcake for the center of my cover and then I use this inchy uh, stamp from our journey and they have a circle and a square I think it's very easy so and I stamp just uh, on places that I like on this paper. And then, of course, I'm going to fussy cut them and uh, oh, choose things. And I didn't count it. Uh, I should have done that because um, in the end I uh, almost came short with uh, squares and I did something to uh, uh, how to cover, cover it up, but you'll see in the end. Now, I fussy cut all of them. And then I uh, measured them on my uh, cover. Uh, as you can see, that I had, I didn't have enough of the square, so I cut several of those pieces uh, just to fit the inside, or the middle of the cover. And then I'm going to just cover it up with a leftover cupcake. Um, pink, of course. It's a girly book, so it needs sweet candy colors. And I'm just going to show you how I measured it. I don't measure anything. I'm just eyeballing it. So I'm gluing down the four corners first. And then I am um, measuring it out. And then glue the middle one first. And then the others. I'll show you at one side, I think. And I really love this this idea of a mosaic kind of thing. Now I put them 
down all three of them and then I measure them and then I glue down the middle one first and then I know where the others need to go like that and I do that with all of them in the end I have glued them all down I think I hope I skipped it all but <laughs> I'm not sure this was a very quick edit <laughs> so um, oh I've cut the whole thing you'll see I finished everything so I needed to cover up the middle of the cover so I'm using here um, a bit of a gel medium first I started out with gesso but then I thought well, gesso doesn't resist uh, acrylic uh, paint so um, then I went in with uh, gel medium and that did the trick in the end so um, just painting it, painting it ro uh, rose. <sighs> I wanted to talk in Dutch. Um, painting in pink, and going in with a baby wipe to lighten it up a bit. It was not dry enough, but oh well, who cares? <laughs> go over it again, let it dry just a little bit, and then go over it with a baby wipe again. So it's just fine drying it quickly and don't know why I left it all in it's not that interesting then yeah you see I make a mess when I craft put everything on my desk leave it there and at the end of the project I just have a little 10 by 10 space left to work on <laughs> you have to clean it all up in the end to start a new project but uh, yeah, that's the way I do it uh, go in with gesso and then create a lovely square uh, covering it with uh, black ink and then I am stamping the same flowery stamp that I used on the the other pieces now inking the edges up and then there is the cupcake yay <laughs> and now I made a mistake because I should have turned the um, the cover a bit uh, but well in the end doesn't really matter I oh now I'm thinking I might change it just get uh, the cupcake off of the little square and then turn the cupcake oh yeah, okay I just <laughs> remembered I could do that but well it looks I think it looks nice it's a very nice uh, uh, project to do and I need to do the background uh, the back cover as well and then assemble the whole recipe book uh, you'll see that later I will try and uh, um, uh, tape everything so you can see it but this is done <laughs> so just um, coloring the um, the edges with black I think that makes it look pretty and of course the title so this is in Dutch um, it says cake book but then in Dutch so it's just one um, letter different to English and then I'm almost done I think oh I even left this in you see me put tape on the pieces of paper and then I'm putting it on the cover so I hope you liked it leave me a comment please and then I will see you next week thank you for watching bye bye everyone